as you can probably tell, back at the warehouse, and Frank is starting to pull apart the motor in preparation for the new turbo cam. Um, I'm not sure how far we're gonna get with that. As you should know, I'm done with this side, at least for now. It is all perfectly done in Bondo gloss, and then now pretty much ready for Bondo. Uh, but, like I said in the previous video, I'm gonna move on to this fender, get it to the exact same point as this one, and then also, uh, I know you guys are gonna yell at me about this, but yes, I am putting Bondo gloss over this Bondo, and then putting Bondo on top of that. Uh, there's no point to taking this all the way down. Uh, it would probably be better, but I'm just not gonna do it. I'm just gonna build it up the right way, as of now, I'm not gonna kind of like go backwards, or at least I'm going to do that as little as possible. This side should be pretty much entirely prepped for Bondo. I sanded the whole thing. Pretty much the only thing we're gonna wanna do is wipe it down with alcohol, and then we can start slapping some Bondo all across this thing, and from there, start blocking it. So while that's been drying, we've been doing a bunch of preparation to get the block up on the engine stand. That way we can flip it upside down while we do our cam install. My dad's gonna head over here, start up the forklift. We're gonna lift this thing up on there and I think it'll be a pretty easy process. We already have um, the little thing to actually go inside of there. Uh, that's already all mounted and everything, so it should be a pretty quick process. There's gonna be someone. I'm calling it. But you know what they're gonna say? You did this wrong. Well, YouTube told me to do this, okay? <laughs> and YouTube's correct. I gotta jerk this thing off. If that was the case, that means that every single thing we film is correct. Which is making, yeah. yeah. I may have to censor this title. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, do the blur. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. I didn't think this one through. What are you talking about? Want to lube me up some more? Yeah, and then I'll put your uh, bolts in there once you're ready. Okay, cool. My guy. That's good. Oh, baby. 
I'm literally gonna have so many people tell me this is wrong, but I've seen this by so many fucking people on the internet, so it has to be true. Even some old old, old man, old white man with a mullet told me how to do this. <laughs> Said stroke it like you're beating your meat. Got a cop cam. That should be good. I think it's gonna be sitting for a year. I'm trying to like just coat this whole thing. Another thing some old man on Facebook told me, or YouTube, can never have too much ascent. Are you excited? This is pretty exciting. How oh, you need them? It is kind of exciting, ain't it? Yeah. Dude, it's like very exciting. This is the coolest thing I've ever done. You want to? No, that's fine. All right. Yeah, but don't Oh, jeez. <laughs> I want to go spin it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Should be. Should be. You know what this means? We're turboing Tyler's car. Next video. No, we're nitrous cam and nitrous. Dude, you should. I want nitrous to. Cam? Dude, I'm pretty sure I have to pull the my motor. engine too, though. Why? Because there's not enough room to pull the cam out the front of the motor. You can take off the bumper, the radiator. No, there's a, the, my chassis the is up, like, up, yeah, it, well, no, 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 my chassis is like, it has like, same thing as yours, like right here, but I'm pretty sure the cross member is right where it is, really? yeah. Not 100% sure, but I'm well, pretty sure you, you have to. In life. Torqued. Torqued the spec or ugly dug it. Tight as fucking tight. You know, everyone says you're supposed to start start them by hand? Fucking bullshit. It's like the tooth fairy. Fucking man. <laughs> Fuck! That was my 10 metal. I think it's somewhere over here. I have a huge cut on my finger too. Well, timing chain cover is on. And pretty much the only thing you left to do is the bell springs, which is well known to be the most fun part. I don't know how to use this. I have no idea either. But it looks like it's really fun. You can do it. <laughs> no. no, I'll let you have the fun. This yeah. is your car. Fun. Sure. Shit's getting wild, boys. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dude, who knows how to do this witchcraft? Is there an instruction book? There probably actually is. Why is one side longer than the other? Dude, because springs are awkward like that, you know? I mean, springs are like a stairway to heaven. Come on! Yeah, beach. <laughs> I'm fucking dying over here. <laughs> Better be fucking good filmage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll I'll take a whack at it. How about you take over? Yeah. It's entertaining. No, it's horrible. <laughs> Almost forgot. That is so annoying. We're gonna have to listen to that for like two hours. So we just got done with the first one. 
Uh, it took a little bit of R&D. We ended up making our own kind of little pride <laughs> thing. Impressive. Yeah, this this will make the whole process super quick. Um, but the main point is that we're able to take them off with this tool, but we're not able to put the new ones on, and that's because it has the secondary spring, and it's unable to get the arms around there and uh, compress the whole thing together. So that was seconds. is it working? Seconds. Yeah, much easier. That tool honestly sucks ass. Don't even bother. Yeah, don't this piece of metal is cheaper than that tool. I literally just cut it. Here, it's cut just bigger than the actual valve and the. I'm sure the they can see it. There's yeah. literally no explanation that needs to be needed. Like <laughs> no. Yeah, I did that with very limited tools, and then the stock rocker bolt, a washer, and it pre-bent itself. And you don't even have to pull down on it. It does it by itself with an impact. Well, that actually took a little bit shorter than we originally intended. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my own shit now. I don't think Frank needs any more help, so I'm gonna work on this. Uh, I don't have enough Bondo to complete it, but I think I'm just gonna do some initial blocking and get this down to at least where I can block again. I am out of Bondo for now. Uh, we went to like two different stores and both of them were out of Bondo glass, so we're gonna have to go and hunt for it tomorrow and we can come back and then do the full wipes on this one just like we did on the other side. But yeah, for right now, we're pretty much just gonna sand this and then, I don't know, I think that's pretty much gonna be it. Well, I'm down to metal here, I'm down to metal here, and I'm down to metal here. So that's about as far as I can go with this for today. Again, I don't have enough Bondo, and local places to here didn't have any. So I'm going to have to wait until I can hit some local places by me, and then uh, we're going to be able to come back and start applying some more Bondo and get that nice and smooth. Anyways, as you can see, putting the accessories back on, water pump, alternator, and uh, yeah. these are all nice and clean looking yeah. anyways guys hope you enjoyed today's video and peace out